Director of the Indian Institute of Management to formally welcome Professor Ramaswamy and express our sentiments on this occasion. Dr. Amte. Gentlemen, since we are walking down the memory lane, let me also share a couple of memories of mine. I was interviewed by Professor Ramaswamy in a suburb of New York City called Queens sometime in the summer of 1977. I traveled from another suburb called uh, Manhattan in a subway, New York subway. And by the time I reached, and he was staying with either one of his friends or colleagues in New York where he was conducting the interview. When I reached that place, I was very thirsty, but there was nobody else seemed to be in the house. And I was feeling rather embarrassed to ask for a glass of water or a glass of juice or something like that. But three or four times when I wiped my lips like this, he himself realized that I must be suffering from thirst and so he himself got up, went around the house, looked at the refrigerator and got me a glass of orange juice. That was something which I had never expected a man of his stature and his achievements to have done. But that's my first memory about, about him. A man who is extremely sensitive to other people's needs and requirements. And there's no wonder that as he progressed and went along his professional life, he has always been very, very sensitive to the needs of other creatures, be it human beings, be it animals, or whatever. Another thing he told me during the interview was that, unlike you have learned about economics and this, that, and the other in, in American school, but start thinking about how you can bring to bear that knowledge on the disadvantaged sections of Indian society and on a lot of inefficient organizations which have been created in India. Okay? So start thinking about those things. So don't confine yourself to what you have learned from your books in an American university. Start thinking about how to apply that knowledge to solving actual problems, particularly the problems of disadvantaged people. That was the thing he told me. I still have those, these, two, these two memories. And a person who thinks along these, these lines is somebody who is going to go along and bring his knowledge, immense knowledge of technology and management to improve the welfare of the disadvantaged sections of the society, which is what he has been doing throughout his, throughout his life. He has been bringing his knowledge of technology and management to the disadvantaged, be it as a human beings or, or animals. And always throughout my interaction with him during my initial years in the institute, that was the focus of his teaching, that was the focus of his interaction with everybody. We are all extremely proud of you, sir, Padma Bhushan, and followed by National Research Professor in Management, the entire IMB community has worked on the solid foundations you have laid in the initial years of this institute. And building on those solid foundations, the IMB community has worked to make IMB the global brand as they call it today. I'll conclude only with one request. Mr. Chikumalaya mentioned that you are always very successful in getting money out of the government. <laughs> I have been a total failure at that, and I would certainly like a lot of advice and help from you in that matter. Thank you, sir. Ramaswamy, my colleagues on the Board of Governors of the Indian Institute of Management, Director and Faculty of the Institute, Staff of the Institute, and my dear students. Today is undoubtedly a historic day. A historic day when all of us felicitate the founder director, Professor Ramaswamy. My, when I was appointed uh, on the board of governors, I had a short telephonic uh, conversation and I had told him that I would come and pay my respects. But even on the telephone, what impressed me was his enthusiasm on what needs to be done. And while I have no anecdotes, uh, like I think that what touches me and give you a uh, sense of his personality just in a few seconds. We were, we were sitting there and uh, the humility in him is, he tells me that I am sorry that you have to go through all this. 
this is the humility in Professor Ramaswamy that I think all of us need to learn. After so much achievement, I personally, sir, salute this humility. For the Indian Institute of uh, Management, Bangalore, clearly, like, you are the founder, you are the driving spirit. Fortunately, I was involved. Uh, Dr. T. A. Pai was a very good friend of my father's, and he treated me like a son. And in that sense, I have heard about you secondhand in the 70s. And the spirit and the foundation that you have created is what the IIM stands for. In that sense, the recognition that you have been given strengthens my belief in India and strengthens my belief in governance systems. All of us complain and we have a right to complain in a democracy of this is not right and that is not right. I was just uh, telling Mr. Roy that uh, I was late because it took me one hour and 45 minutes to get from the airport here. But while I was sitting there, what really struck me is that we must really be proud of our country and our governance system that ultimately there is justice and decisions are taken on merits. We have here the opportunity to felicitate our own Professor Ramaswamy, not only on his Padma Bhushan, but on being appointed the National Research Professor. Let me tell you what the National Research Professor means. This is an appointment by the Prime Minister, the Home Minister and the Education Minister. There are only 12 National Professors appointed all over India. Two are necessarily by protocol kept vacant. And these are persons of the highest eminence. You can only be appointed here after you have crossed the age of 65. And you can be appointed on an ongoing period of five years. And what is the criteria for appointment? The criteria for appointment is not only should you have done research, but you should have the continuous ability in you to do ongoing research. And that is what I'd like to congratulate Professor Ramaswamy and I'd really like to congratulate India and its governance system that we ultimately recognize merits in this country. <laughs> At an inflection point where over the next 10, 20 years, the development that has been so close to your heart, right, can be converted into reality. I think what was said is that the problems of distribution can be solved by this generation. The problems of distribution can be solved whereby every rural Indian, every farmer can be linked to a global distribution system that exists. And in that sense, the development of India